Now, the Times of London said billionaire club in bid to curb overpopulation and talks about the same meeting by John Harlow, Los Angeles. Oh, there it's global health. But see, in their weird lawyer speak, it's the globe's health to get rid of all these people. But it isn't even about that. They say it's about the elite having access to the life extension technologies that they believe if they can extend their lives in their 20, 30 years, the technology will be so advanced, they're all on record saying this, that it will be unlimited life extension, but the public can't have access. So they're already suppressing the technologies that are the bridge to this system uh, in the national security reservations above the technological development that we're pretty much frozen in. This is the real world. This is what affects your family. They're putting poison in your food. They're putting poison in your water. They're carrying out these operations. I just documented it with the president's own head of science calling for your forced sterilization. Great job, crew. This is the end of the main radio transmission. But I'll continue at prisonplanet.tv and infowars.com right now. We are in overdrive. The eugenicists, the Rockefeller family, the Rothschilds, the Queen of England, all publicly eugenicists. Their fathers and grandfathers and grandmothers and great-grandmothers set up eugenics on record. That's historical fact. Then, after Hitler embarrassed them moving too quickly, as they said, they went underground. And they took over society by stealth. They created the social welfare system to get the public in their webs, to capture the public. And now the head of Obama's entire science division, his science chief advisor, is uh, out in this big uh, textbook calling for eugenics, forced sterilization, a world government to carry it out, forced abortions, killing babies, putting drugs in the water to sterilize you and in your food. I never got to this on the main show. Then we're going to take 10 calls and end it. Bored with PCs, Bill Gates sets his sights on controlling the weather. Now see how Paul... Uh, John P. Holdren, who co-authored the 1977 book, which he advocated the formation of a planetary regime that would use global political force uh, to enforce totalitarian measures on population control, including forced abortions, mass sterilization programs conducted via the food supply. And that's written by Paul Joseph Watson, as well as mandatory bodily implants that would prevent couples from having children. Now... He's calling for global climate manipulation to save the earth from greenhouse gases. But then he admits that's all made up. It's about shutting down the sunlight so plants can't grow the food we need so that people will starve to death. And then they say in their own documents they would do that. Bill Gates, the eugenicist, separately is out seconding, seconding Holdren. This is in uh, popular publication, Popular Science. Bored with PCs, Bill Gates sets his sights on controlling the weather. Oh, and it's exactly what Stanford Research Institute certified in 1967 that Ben Livingston, the father of weather weapons meteorologist, broke here on this show. That by the 60s, they could create, they could steer, they could strengthen, they could weaken hurricanes. They're going to use this stuff against us and then say, oh, look, the Earth's having serious problems. We've got to take all your rights. We've got to have a global carbon tax or the hurricanes won't stop. Dr. Kelly, caller from California, thanks for holding her on the air. Alex, you're the king. Thank you so much for sharing the truth and just keep praying and reading the word. And God says be fruitful and multiply. So eat good. Well, I'm not eat. the king. Thanks. No king oh. but King Jesus, but I will tell you, the kings are, my, are the great folks making the show possible and you the callers, but go ahead. And keep drinking raw milk on the air and be friends with your farmer and, you know, I understand your holy righteous anger. Uh, the, Evil. The, I don't know who it was that came knocking and talking on the door in Reno a couple of years ago asking if there were unvaccinated children in the home. No, no that's know, CPS. They try to, no, 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 no. I mean, ma'am, yeah. ma'am. Man, that's been in the news. They do that to create fear. There's no law, but they come and knock and say, we're here to look at your guns and take them. And they go, but there's no law. And they just go, let us have the firearms. It's called knock and talk. Or, 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 yeah. Sorry, go ahead. It, it's a man at the door in a cop uniform, a wrinkled one, a tattered man, and a lady with a clipboard asking if there are, you know, I lived in kind of in the poverty neck of the woods, and so... 
you know, that's where they started. And they had brought a van or a bus, like these little FEMA buses that you're talking about. And uh, I just, I really appreciate you telling the truth. And, well, well and uh, Doc, let me let me throw, and, throw this in. Obama now is going to have mobile vans for everybody, and you're going to go to the FEMA camp to the mobile van. And of course, you're frisked to make sure there's no weapons, but you're, you're going to be destitute, so you'll have to go to the camp. Google for folks if they don't believe me. Uh, Obama announces federal uh, uh, health care vans. I'm sorry, ma'am. Go ahead. I mean, this was this was two years ago before he was even in office. No, I understand. So He's I'm just going into high gear with my him. nephew. Yeah, and I'm encouraging my family and my nephew and everybody, we need to go in on one of these front site memberships and get trained on how to defend ourselves and our people and our land and our water. And but these ma'am, take the shot. Us. You're not going to hurt Never. anymore after. Never. The shots kill you need to die those for the earth. David Rockefeller needs the earth for himself. So does the Queen Beatrix of the Netherlands, ma'am. Leonard Horowitz came to our college and spoke, and and he talked about you know the importance of that these vaccines these vaccines were filled with poisons to kill people. No, they are. They Fact, never right invited him back to tell the truth. You know, well, it's terrible. And these are these are chiropractors. These are the people that study health and nutrition and thousands of hours and hundreds of hours in in you know how to properly use an X ray, not to radiate people to death. And I thank you. I mean, it's a miracle that we're both here. No, it are. is. And God bless you. I'm out of time. I want to take a few more calls before we end the show because the crew's got to go. But that's why I interrupt and gibber and jabber and always have more facts and more proof because it's so ridiculous. They're openly saying they're killing us. They're openly spraying us. And then it's like, oh, I'm not supposed to talk about that. Kooks talk about that. Well, but the media says that. I mean, here's the Pope calling for world government. Here's Al Gore calling for world government. Here's Ruth Bader Ginsburg saying we need to get rid of the undesirables with abortion. Pope calls for world political authority. I mean, it's all real. They're killing you. And so many of these control freak yuppies are being killed by it, but they are still for it. It's just sick. Al in Florida, you're on the air. Hello, Mr. Jones. How are you? I'm doing all right, Bubba. Good, sir. Um, I just got something to add to your discussion on eugenics here. It's Revelations 11.18. The nations were angry and your wrath has come. The time has come for judging the dead and for rewarding your servants, the prophets, and your saints, and those who reverence your name, both small and great. And this is why Jesus comes back and for destroying those who destroy the earth. This is God's paradise. It's not the world's property. It's not the government property. And the elite are the ones with the genetic engineering cross species that are actually hurting the earth. And they brag about that. None of this has to do anything with the earth. It's about them hogging everything and being control freaks and setting up a dictatorship built around humans being bad. I appreciate your call. But if you're going to quote revelations, I would just add this caveat, this addendum, this proviso. The fake churches are world Council of Churches, Rockefeller controlled, and they are saying lay down, it's the end of the world. They thought that with Hitler, it was the end of the world. We got to fight this evil regardless. Thank you, Al. Chris in Canada, you're on the air. Oh, yes. Good uh, evening, Alex. Uh, yeah, I have a, it's a possible solution uh, to some of this problem. Um, yeah, expose these criminals. Take them on. Arrest them. Right. Expose what murdering control freaks they are. Admit they're already heading us with these systems. The exact right. systems they propose and say they've been testing are the exact systems we've been saying for decades they had in place. Right. We can, we can do simple things. These like, operations uh, are being carried out now. This is going right. on now. I should have made that point earlier. Go ahead. No, no, uh, I totally agree with you, but we can do simple things like uh, using notices of understanding and claim of rights uh, for health and, uh, health and wellness. And if you write these uh, letters, you have to write them to many different people. What, tell the elites to it. stop chemtrailing you and they stop with a letter? What, with a UCC code on it or something? Well, you have to get a notary of a republic. And, uh, sir, sir, we'll listen, I appreciate that. your call, and I'm not poo-pooing what you're saying completely, because I don't have time to do that. They don't stop Kim trailing because you've sent in a notary of this stuff, or because you put a billion-dollar bond on them. Okay? Nobody collects on these bonds. It's not real. I'm tired of patriots believing it and going to prison. 
Now, we should be notifying government as free humans that we're not their slaves and we know they're doing this and take over our counties and cities and communities and bring these crooks to justice. We have the righteous right as free sentient beings to not be their slaves and their government is illegitimate. I'm just telling you, they're going to ignore whatever paper you file with them. Now, you do file a vaccine exemption form, but that turns your right into a privilege. How do you file an exemption form on something that isn't even a law? Now I got a headache. I just do this too much. Paul in Missouri. Go ahead. You're on the air. No, no. Jeff in Missouri. And then Paul in Wisconsin. Go ahead, Jeff. Alex, can you hear me? Yes. Yeah, I'm going to give you another headache, but I'm going to try to be nice to you, okay? Um, you got the wrong information about the Roman Catholic Church. The Pope did not call for world political authority. If you take time to read his encyclical, there is no mention of world political authority that he put in his encyclical.